I don't know, I remember her saying that if she ever wakes up and thinks about herself and her own needs, it pisses her off. That was the language she used as well. And that's really stuck with me since. So it kind of, she kind of set the standard there a little, you know? I met her, and when I met her, I had long hair, and I was wearing a tank top, and I was really white. So um, when I met her, I thought I was going to be in this amazing suit, amazing tan body, and when I met her, I was in a very, <laughs> I was very bony and not that buff. So when I met her, I got up, she got up, and I was wearing all this, and she just hugged me, and it was just a great story out of that. I will never forget that I came into to work on a Monday with my headphones on, and we had had an amazing weekend, all of us hanging out every time, and I came in singing an Aaron Neville song with headphones on, and, and, and she started singing along. She's like, I love that song. And when she comes close, she's like, Mama, you're here, you're right. Finally a woman in the movie. And she just gave me a big hug. And then she was looking at me like, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> she was just, this is Angie for me. She's so warm and her heart is so open. The one story that you would tell your grandchildren about Angelina Jolie, the one thing you will never forget about this one. That, oh, she cast me in her movie. <laughs> however dark the night, however dim our hopes. Inbound four o'clock low. The light will always follow darkness.